All right, you guys, here I'm, I forgot again to record the video in class today. And while some lessons, that's really not a big deal. This lesson, I really do need you to see me doing um, what I want you to do. So today's lesson is writing function rules. So we talked in other lessons this unit about um, ordered pairs being relations to each other and that functions were specific kind of relations where there's only one output for each input. And then the last lesson we talked about writing those functions in function notation. And so like f of x equals 5x plus 7, for example, is an equation written in function notation. And today what we're going to do is take a bunch of data points, plug them into a calculator, and it will help us create our own functions that we can write in function notation and then use to make predictions with other data points. And so if you were in the classroom, so here's our worksheet for today. If you were in the classroom, we would be doing this with the yellow TI Inspire calculators. But if you're working asynchronously at home, what I want you to do instead is work from Desmos. And if you see this tiny URL up here, if you type this in, it's tinyurl.com backslash Mrs. F 3-3B, um, everything in caps. Pause the video if you need to see that. I'll also drop this link um, back into the um, stream announcement in your Google Classroom. I'll try to remember to do that. Um, if you go there, there's already a, a table set up for you to enter your data points. And here's where I want you to get those points from. So I'm going to go back to my worksheet. This right here, this table, um, if you, I'm going to read this to you. It says, a student who waits on tables at a restaurant recorded the cost of meals in the tip left by single diners. So if the person's meal cost $4.75, that person left a 50 cent tip. Someone else's meal cost 684 and they left a 90 cent tip and so forth and so on through the table. And what we're going to do is enter that information into the Desmos calculator and it's going to give us a estimated equation to match that data. So we take, so all the meal costs up here are the X values and the tip costs are the Y's. So I'm going to enter 4.75 and 50 here. And 50 cents there. And I'm going to replace these X's and Y's that are already here with all of those meal information. So the next one is 6.84 and 0.9. And then I have 12.52 and 1.5. And then 20.42 and $3. and then 8.97 and $1. And then you see the six and seven on the bottom? I don't need those, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. All right. And now what Desmos does is it graphs the points for me, and it gives me a line of best fit through those points. And I'm not so much interested in the graph today as on back on the left side of the screen when I scroll down, here's what I'm interested in. My general form y equals mx plus b right here and the m and b that the calculator estimated for. Remember m is slope and b is your y-intercept. These are the values I'm interested in. And so if I take, if I round this to do two decimal places, so round your m to 0.16 and then plug it in here, and then round your B to negative 0 0.30 and plug it in here, that gives you a, um, 
an equation. And so if we go back, I'm going to show you the um, key to this worksheet. I'm back on your calendar. I just want to find the, oh, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry, in your Google Classroom. I apologize. So on the stream announcement for today, I want to see the filled in key. So we get this function, right? There's my 0.16. Um, there's my B. I named the function T of M, where T stands for the tip and M stands for the meal cost. You could have used F of X here, and then this M here should have been an X, okay? And that's how you use that Desmos calculator. You put your data points in, and then you take that M and the B values and plug it in for your, your function. And then you use it to predict. So this next question says, use your function to predict the tip the waiter should expect for a meal that costs $10.50. Well, you take that $10.50 and you plug it in here for the M. And then when you calculate that, you will get $1.38. And so that's what you're going to do, that same process, for these next two examples. You'll notice in number two, the information's different. It's on a graph. You have to come up with the ordered pairs, the X and Y coordinates, um, and plug those into the table on Desmos. And then for the next example as well, it's given you these ordered pairs. Okay. So go try that on your own. Come back, check your answers with this key. And then this is what your grade is for today is to take pictures of your work of both sides and put it into Google Classroom. And don't forget, you have a test on Friday.